And what we found, okay, okay. So he's like, what brought you to this school? Right? And then that led him to telling me a little bit of his background, which is like, he used to go to school. Um, he dropped out of school for several years, or actually not dropped out, but he stopped it. He was just not, he's not for it, you know, so he just stopped it. And then now he's going back to school. And he was telling me how his life completely turned in 180. And I was like, you know, that's really funny because that's kind of really resounding with my story. You know, I went to school, really wasn't for me, really needed a break. Kind of just did that, took a break. And now I'm back because God really called me back. And then what's even more odd is that we find out that we both went to the same high school and left that high school our junior year because we both thought that we were not cut out for school. And and so like we were just, we were starting both in the back of our heads, like I'm sure I'm sure we were like, Okay, this we don't believe in coincidences. So this is obviously like God plan. And so we just continued talking. Like we didn't of course this is not something outspoken, you know? Like I was thinking it and then later I find out he was thinking it also. And then, like, um, so we go to the seminar. Now, the seminar, like I said earlier, was really boring. Like, I know it's not meant to be boring. It's supposed to be meant to be, like, really enlightening, like, Pentecostalism, like, lecture, like, ooh, who's this person? He was such a social activist. What was his take on the church? You know, and we learned about this guy that believed so much. He, he had kind of, like, a twisted way of um, Christianity because he wanted to reform it so badly. He really got into, like, thinking about UFOs and, like, aliens and, like, you know, and uh, apocalyptic Cold War and... And all this stuff, which was quite interesting. And, but I came out just thinking, okay, great. I took a ton of notes. I'm going to write a paper. But it didn't really, like, strike anything in me. You know, it didn't move my heart in any way. It didn't, like, you know, kind of, like, light a light bulb, like, you know, in my head for, like, new ideas. No, nothing like that. And then, um, but he was, like, naughty, like that message really touched me. And I was just like, whoa, like, like, really? Like, and then he was like, yeah, you know, sometimes I really feel like God is really tugging at my heart about something. And then I was like, okay, well, if you're going to say that, you've got a chat. You can't just say that and have me let that go, you know? <laughs> and then, like, um, and then he was telling me how, like, you know, sometimes he finds himself, like, he's really on fire for God. Like, I can even tell, you know, he really has a heart that's after God, you know. And he's like, you know, but ever since he's come back, which is the same time as me, this semester, he literally came back, like, a couple months ago, like me, you know. And um, and he's like, you know, he feels like he's kind of, like, succumbing to the things that, or to the to the habits that he used to have, you know. And that has a lot to do with the people he's around. And I was like, you know, that's really funny that you say that because, like, all my friends are not Christian. Like, all my girlfriends are not Christian. And I was like, and he's like, you know, all my friends, yeah, sure, they grew up in church, but they're not really Christian either, you know? And I was like, whoa, okay, another another commonality, right? And I was like, you know, that's so tough, you know? And then, like, what do you, and I was like, wait, so who keeps you accountable, right? And then he's like, God, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is somebody that I can, I can completely relate to. And in my house, I was like, okay, well, I'm sure, like, if he's saying he's going, you know, I thought I was alone in, in all of this, right? If he's somebody that obviously God, obviously, obviously, right, God has planned for me to really share with him, you know, like, I'm sure we're not the only ones either. Like, and I was like, you know, like, it's really difficult to, to walk a spiritual walk, even though God is like, you know, your, your, your strength and your, you know, your foundation and your fortress, you know, like you need that accountability, you know, to share like what's going on with you from day to day, if not week to week, you know, and then what else triggered in my mind was you guys, you know, like, and I was just like, you know, in Hong Kong, I had bacon and eggs. <laughs> and like, um, I was just telling him how like, we were like family, you know, and like, 
we if one of us was like going through anything we would pray for each other and we would even though I'm away now like you guys actually keep in touch with me via Facebook via email you know that's what family is you know and and that's what love for one another is and I was like and 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 I don't I, I really don't understand why like perhaps it's just his church and my church that don't provide that community or don't like make it so necessary like you know like the vine does where they really push for you to to have that kind of fellowship you know to have that constant um 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 outlet you know to you know just pull your heart and be honest about it um and I was telling him how like you know like I was just like oh man like we're both so desperate for something like that like what can we do about it and then like all of a sudden like I was just like okay since I know in my heart that probably he and I are not the only one longing for something like this and there's probably other brothers and sisters out there for the looking just for that same thing you know then then why don't we start it like why don't we start up something like plus you know why don't we start up something like bacon and eggs you know hi mom sorry one second <laughs>